Let, let me take you back to the breaking news we had just at the top of this hour. Uh, it's, it's a story in the Daily Mirror um, about Princess Kate and supposedly an investigation going on at the London Clinic yeah. because people or somebody has been trying to access her confidential notes. Very serious story for the London Clinic, this, if, uh, if they find that somebody was trying to do that. Yeah, I'm um, uh, total, you know, it could well be, a, it, well, it is, from, from looking at it, a, a, a breach of total, you know, patient confidentiality, mm. which if you work in the healthcare service, that's probably the first thing you sign right. up to, to actually make sure that right. people's, you know, conditions are, you know, uh, don't get out there. It's a very frenzy, personal thing. It? This frenzy of, of, of uh, sort of activity. And, absolutely. And the, the numbers of people who are absolutely obsessed with this story that even after the, the video came out yesterday, they're not interested. No. They go, no. It's definitely not them. You know, they know everything. It's a bit like, you know, I used to get these people on my late night radio show who didn't believe that, you know, man landed on the moon. They didn't believe that 9-11 was... I know, and everything inside. you say just feeds yeah. the conspiracy. and everything, you know, well, don't, well of course you, you must know that this happened, therefore that must be true. Yeah. But let's not forget that the king is also being treated. It was, you know, he yes. was treated at the London Clinic. Right. This is a potential... And it's still being very, treated, we think. Very secure, yeah. you know, should be a very secure hospital. But can you imagine for a moment how vulnerable... I mean, we know that Kate must already be feeling vulnerable and, you know, under attack and under a lot of scrutiny. But the idea that someone... That, that your hospital, mm. where you've been treated, that they are, you know, that they have your medical records... Mm. As any patient, you know, not even a royal patient, not even the most right. famous woman in the world, because the frenzy in America, in America yeah. about, about Kate at the moment mm. is off the charts. It is. But imagine knowing they've got your medical records yeah. and that potentially a nurse, as we saw a few years ago when the Australian radio station that Michael was telling, Michael Cole was talking yeah. about, when the Australian radio station called up the nurses and got, and got private information. I don't know how Kate is coping with all this. Yeah, right now. I know. It must be horrific. I know, incredibly, incredible stuff. Because of course, um, and she's meant to be recovering. Mm, and the front page of the Sun uh, tomorrow has got still yet another Kate story. Uh, the pictures from yesterday, from the video, uh, and this is based around the guy who actually filmed it, um, who is a man by the name um, of Nelson Silver, who it turns out is a bit of a, 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 a film, a professional film director. Or something, which of course has fed the uh, uh, the trolls even more. Oh, well, well, of course, he's a professional film. Uh, oh, it's a body director. double, Mike. It's a so body therefore, double. he must have set it up, and he must have sold it, and that's no, 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 no. But basically, he's now saying, "I saw them with my own eyes. Leave them alone." Mike, what do you make of it? <laughs> Leave them alone, says the man who. Filmed I mean, it looks them. it looks pretty much unless it's generative AI or something like the Dutch, <laughs> like the Princess of Wales. I'm still called Duchess of Cambridge. It looks like her. Um, it's great to see her out and about in public again. Have we done this story to death that, you know, at the end of the day, she's entitled to privacy yeah. when she recovers. She's due to come back out of public, anticipated in a few weeks anyway. I hope she's going to resume. She's a big asset to the royal family, particularly given the turbulent times they're going through as well. For me, the focus has got to be on the king's health, obviously, the fact he's still performing his duties and carrying on with us. But it's good to see her out about in Windsor there and with her husband. Yeah. Side. I mean, incredible, really, isn't it, that, uh, that this has become such a big story. I wonder, um, I wonder if people are just so fed up with everything that this is the only thing they can kind of concentrate on. They almost you know, see it as a... We can't talk about the serious problem with the country. They're so popular, it's a bit we lighter. Can't, yeah, we can't, we can't possibly think about the state of the NHS or yeah. the dreadful state of our border force or anything like that. This, so let's, let's focus on this. I presume this is, for a lot of people, this is their escapism. This is their um, EastEnders, Coronation Street. This is the, the, yes. the sort of the real-life version of that. But you would sort of just wonder whether the, the royal family or the, the household would sort of help themselves by not... Um, you know, they could have staged similar sort of pictures themselves, yeah. show, showing Kate's road to recovery. Be careful um, what you say. Yeah. I mean, you know, somebody will start staging stuff. I mean, this is yeah. the thing. Not I mean, I'm joking, yeah. but yeah. you know, people, people go, "Well, they said it on talk TV. It must but be I true." But I also, I also think, um, as well as what you say about the, the the sort of interest, I also think there's a there's a level of genuine love, <laughs> sort of uh, affection for her and concern behind it. I hate all the conspiracy stuff, and I do think it's verging on bullying. But I think lots of people are also genuinely concerned and kind of interested in her recovery. Yeah. But there's a really good letter in The Sun, which I may quote. Um, let's just remember that she, they, she is... Um, the Princess of Wales is a public figure, not public property. Yes. And I think that's right, because I've been yeah. on shows where people are going, we have a right to know, we pay for them, we have a right to know. Yeah. And that may be, it may be our <laughs> friend Kev. Yeah. But, I mean, I said, you know, come on. Yeah. We don't have a right to know. No. I actually think Charles and Kate have shared unprecedented yeah. personal information, you know. We have a right to know what kind of cancer it is. Yeah. No, we don't. I, no. think, I think one thing that was quite interesting over the weekend, um, a few of the, the Sunday papers were carrying stories that she will actually explain 
um, when the when the time yeah, is yeah. right about what has actually yeah, happened. Yeah, sure. And you feel if like she wants that, to. And you if know, she wants my to. life will not be improved or, no. or disproved, disimproved no. by not, by knowing or not knowing. Yeah, and I think if you know, you know? other people yeah. have had the same condition as um, Ill, uh, you know, condition or treatment as what she had. It might it might it might help people. It may well do. But uh, moving on to slightly less serious royal matters, um, President Trump has given an interview tonight in which he says that uh, if he becomes president, he's going to deport Prince Harry, uh, which I think it's got to be good for a laugh, but I just hope he doesn't bring him back here. Yeah. And yeah. I know, then it. we get him you know, back. We'll back. Be we don't want him back. Knocking on the door of Buckingham you. Palace. How about we get him sent to Rwanda? There you, you know, go. Because here's a guy who says he wants to help, you know, exactly. people in, in countries around the world. He wants to have various foundations in Africa. Some of them are not running as well as perhaps they ought to. Yeah, maybe Rwanda's the place for him. I think it's a perfect place for him. He could build, he could help build some of the hostels that we that desperately need out in Rwanda. Taxpayers' money, though. I would give him three grand. You actually. give Harry three Definitely. grand. Yeah. Go away for yeah. sure. Voluntarily. Not promise never to come back. It, it is <laughs> you know. funny though because Trump has talked. <laughs> Trump has talked about draining the swamp and yeah. you know cracking down on all this stuff. Right. We know. I think we know that Harry lied on those forms. Right. If, well, if any if any of the rest of us lied on our forms yeah. about cannabis use. We would not be allowed in. What I found fascinating was the Democrats have actually defended their uh, ability to give him uh, residential status, or whatever he's got, because yeah. they said, oh, probably the claims in his book were all made up. But I don't think that's really much of a defense. That's really you know, a defense. Because if he was sitting there and they were saying, well, you said you took all these drugs, and now you're saying you just made it up for a book, mm. what else did he make up? Exactly. Very, very interesting indeed.